I recently got a request for a an EFT video, stress relief technique, to be able to help a teenager who is going through the experience of anxiety associated with math. So this video, we're going to talk about how EFT can help you dissolve the anxiety that you have around a specific subject at school. In this case, we're going to talk about math. Now, this is really close to my heart because I had a lot of anxiety about math when I was in high school and junior high. And so I had to get a lot of tutoring and so there was a lot of anxiety that was associated with it. And it usually flows from a place of high expectations. I expect that I'm going to do better than I do. Um, I want to do better than I'm doing. And so we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. It's crazy. So EFT is just a stress relief technique that basically sends messages to the brain. And when you're freaking out, they call it the deer in the headlights, your left brain stops communicating with your right brain and you basically get stuck in the limbic system, which is I refer to it as animal planet. This is where you only have three choices to be really scared so much so that you just freeze. I don't know what to do. I'm so scared. I don't like math. Or some people like forget it. I don't like this. I'm out of here. That's the run. Um, and some people will fight and they'll fight back and they'll say, I'm doing the best that I can and it's never enough. So any of those sound familiar? Because those are the three choices you get when you're in that animal planet zone. Now, wonderful thing about how God made our brains, you can play in the frontal cortex. This is the front part of your brain, and it, they call it the neo, neocortex as well. This is where you start looking for solutions. What EFT does is it quiets the signals of stress that are sent through the center of the brain, and it just calms the body. So basically, when you feel stressed, Every time you tap on a, a certain point, it sends a message of relaxation. Oh my gosh, I've got math class. Relaxation. I'm so scared to take this math test. Relaxation. And if we continually apply relaxation to the stress response, what happens, cool thing on how God made us, is that the calm response will eventually override the stress response. Yay! So this is how it works. You're going to math class your heart starts to race. Your palms maybe start to start to get a little bit sweaty. Maybe the night before you had a hard time sleeping because you have a math quiz and you've studied and in the past you haven't done as well as you want to do. As quickly as you become aware of your body getting involved because stress manifests in the body. Where does it show up for you? Do you get a a headache? Do you get pressure in your shoulders? Do you feel it in your chest? Do you have restricted breathing? Where does stress show up? Where does it, where does it hang out? Because stress will hang out in certain places. For me, it's my chest. When I get stressed, I'll have a hard time breathing. Like when I went through advanced cancer and they told me I only had five years to live, sometimes I would have a hard time breathing to the point where you can create so much stress in the body that it gets overloaded and you have an attack. The body starts shutting down. It sh shoots blood to the back part of the brain, to your limbs, so that you can fight, flight, or freeze, right? But that doesn't serve our growth in life, our, our physical growth, and it doesn't serve the growth in our brain to be able to stay in a happy place, in the place of curiosity. So let's apply a little bit of EFT to this fear of math. You're going to this math class, you're feeling the anxiety. As soon as you feel it, get very specific. What am I afraid of? Ask yourself that question as specifically as possible. What that does is it quarantines it so the fear doesn't run rampant through your body. You put it in a container. What am I afraid of? Well, I'm afraid I'm not going to pass the math quiz and I need it to pass to get an, another, to get a better grade. I'm, I'm afraid that I'll never be good at anything. Maybe you're generalizing it and saying, because I'm not good at math, I'm never going to be good at anything. Really? I'm sure if I sat with you, I can find a few things that you're good at. So don't give your stress that, that power. Don't let stress be your bully you or your fear bully you. You take that power back. When I was training for my black belt, so one thing was that helped before I got in the ring in competition is what I practiced outside the ring. So I encourage you, if you're afraid of something that's going to ha happen tomorrow, do your practice today and you start speaking about it. And it would sound something like this, even though I've got a math quiz tomorrow and I'm really scared because I haven't been doing good in math. 
and I have a lot of anxiety about math because it doesn't come easy for me. And even though math doesn't come easy for me, I am willing, by God's grace, to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm freaking out and I probably might not even have a easy time sleeping tonight because I'm so scared about math, I'm willing, by God's grace, to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. And I give myself permission to choose a lighter way. Dear God, help me to remember I, I do a lot of things really, really well. And give me the strength to do my best and to know that I'm still enough, even if I don't get the grade that I want. Help me to do my best and to know that I'm still enough, that you love and adore me and you have plans for me. All this fear, I'm afraid of math. Math fear, I'm afraid of math. Afraid I, don't, I won't do well. Quiz fear. Be very specific about it. Perhaps it's just anxiety around quizzes or when you have to perform. So you put in exactly what your specific fear is about math. Word problems. Uh, that was a big one for me. Can't stand those word problems. They ask me so many things all at the same time and I have no clue what's going on. All this fear, all this confusion. Don't I have to stay here? This is under your arm. Don't I have to stay in this fear? I wonder if there's a lighter way. I wonder if there is something in math that I can tune into that I don't even know about yet. I'm willing to open myself up to solutions. What if there are no problems? There's just situations that just require my focus to tune into a solution. I'm willing to explore a lighter way. I'm afraid of math. I don't like math. All right, I'm willing to love and accept myself. I choose to do my best anyway. I'm afraid of math. I choose to go for it anyway. I choose by God's grace to do the very best that I can. And, and I ask for the strength and the grace to release the results. Help me to go for it 100%. I will do my best and I won't give it power to define my worth. I still have value whether I do good in math or whether I don't do good in math. I still have worth. God loves me. If I do well in school, do well in math, or don't do well in math. All this math fear. I choose a lighter way. I choose to explore uh, feeling safe walking into that math room. I choose to explore feeling confident when I take that test to know that I will do my best and I will release the rest, remembering that I am not my math quiz. I am not my math class. God adores me and I have value and identity in that. No one can take that from me. And then just breathe in and release. And then just give yourself permission to tune in and check in how strong is my math fear right now. Uh, it's about five now. It was a 10. How intense is it? do I feel this in my body from a scale from zero to 10? 10. 10 being the highest and the most intense. I'm about a five now. I feel a little bit better, but I still have a little fear over math. Then go back at the, the tapping. Remaining five fear. Remaining five fear remaining five here. What do I want to remember tomorrow when I walk in that math class to flatline this remaining five fear? I'm not my math class. I have value. I have worth and I can do it. I can tune into a solution to this. Do I need to get help? Do I need to go in for extra help in the morning? Uh, what are my resources? What, what can I do? that would be helpful for me to feel more confident. I don't have to stay in fear. Fear's not the boss of me. My, my math fear is not the boss of me. I choose a lighter way, simply because it feels better inside. Dear God, help me not to fear and to seek solution and to seek a lighter way moving forward, easily and naturally. I choose confidence, curiosity, and I choose to step into math knowing my worth and value and not letting math be the boss of me easily and naturally. And then just breathe in and release. And then you check in again, one to 10. How much am I afraid of a math class? I'm down at a two. Keep going until that you get to that zero for this tapping session. Keep going because what we found in EFT is that if you don't keep going, It'll get lower and then it just comes back up. So, so consistency, be specific and consistent. 
when I was working on, when I was going through advanced cancer, I was working on believing in healing over the diagnosis. And so I would say all day long, thank you, God, for my healing. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for my healing. And calming my body because I would get scared. But then it would trigger trust because I would calm the monkey mind that lived in fear. So consistency. Keep going with the tapping. Every time you tap on these points, you send a message of calm to the brain. And remember when we started this video, what we found is when you have that fear crawling up in your mind and you attach confidence to it by calming the brain then and you keep doing it again and again and again and again it's like whack-a-mole then that confident thought will start to speak louder than the fear this is the gift that God has given us it's just a matter of helping our body calm down so we can listen to the voice of God within us and do our best without attaching our sense of identity to what we do. Hopefully this is helpful to you, and I look forward to the next video, the next request, the next topic. Enjoy your gift of life.